At WWDC, Apple went over some of the major new features for iOS 17, but what about the ones that Apple didn't mention or maybe just briefly mentioned in passing? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over 15 of those hidden features for iOS 17. If you're a huge fan of private browsing, Apple just finally added something that I think a lot of people would really, really want, and that is the ability to make private browsing even more private by hiding it behind a Face ID authentication. So if you go into Safari and you have have a regular browsing session going on and then you swipe over to private, you'll see here that you now need to unlock your private browsing session using Face ID. In iOS 17, you can actually change your private browsing search engine to be something different than your normal browsing search engine. So for me, I usually use Google uh, and you can either use the default one or you can switch to Yahoo, Bing, DuckDuckGo for even more privacy. Whatever you wanna choose, you can now have those two separated. Now, if you've ever decided to rearrange your home screen and maybe you move a bunch of apps, but then uh, after you've already got it set in place, you decide that you don't like it, instead of having to reselect all of those apps and then kind of move them one by one uh, or over to wherever you want them on your home screen, you can actually just shake your phone really, really hard and it'll undo just like you used to be able to shake your phone to undo text. So that's a cool feature that Apple probably won't ever talk about, but something that you'll definitely want to know. In the Reminders app for iOS 17, you can now make a smart grocery list, which will auto sort your groceries by category. So if you have bananas, eggs, uh, milk, you know, meat, whatever the case may be, if you add a new list and make sure you add it as a grocery list, that's really important that you toggle that part on. Uh, it will now sort those into different categories like dairy and produce and meat and bread and cereal. All of those will be smartly categorized so you don't have to do that, making your shopping trip a lot easier. One of the best features in iOS is when you get a two-factor code sent to you for whatever app you're trying to log into, it gets texted to you, it automatically fills in, you don't have to go and look for that and switch apps, amazing. Now, if you get it emailed to you, you kind of still have to go into your email and copy and paste and not anymore. Now in iOS 17, the same way you get autofill for SMS codes, you can now have autofill for email and it's amazing. And speaking of those verification codes, you no longer will have a list of all of those in your text message history or in your emails because now you can go into passwords and I believe under password options, I would just search for verification codes and it'll take you right there. But under those options there, you can now toggle on clean up verification codes. Go ahead and turn that on. You will no longer have all of those random messages in your list there or your emails with those verification codes. It'll just clean them up automatically. Cropping photos inside of iOS 17 has never been easier. So let's say you have this ridiculous photo of yourself from when you were a kid, that your parents decided to dress you up in some weird sailor outfit. Let's just move on from that fact and say you wanna crop in because you just can't get enough of looking at this old photo and you really wanna zoom in there and get it perfectly cropped. Well, all you do is pinch to zoom and you'll see here in the upper right corner an option to crop. Just hit crop, then hit done, and you'll automatically have that photo cropped. And it's super easy to do now. And yeah, you'll have these ridiculous photos of yourself cropped in a matter of seconds. Spotlight has become even more useful than it already is by having some very useful toggles available by just simply searching for, you know, something like alarm. If you search for alarm, you'll have a bunch of toggles for various alarms that you have set uh, and you can toggle them on or off. Or for me, I like to use it for always on display. Sometimes I don't want it always on because you know it eats up batteries or whatever the case may be. It's just a much faster way to go ahead and turn it on or off. And there's a bunch of different toggles set throughout the system here. It just depends on whatever you're searching for. You can go ahead and toggle it on or off inside of Spotlight. In the Photos app, there's now a visual lookup button here at the bottom. So let's say you're looking at a picture of your dog and you don't know what breed it is. Uh, perhaps maybe the Photos app can help you. Click on that visual lookup click on the dog tag here, and it'll actually show you a couple of breeds uh, that your iPhone thinks it might be. And this is actually pretty spot on because uh, we definitely know that this dog has some beagle in her. It was a rescue, so we don't know all of the different breeds, but we were actually told these two specifically. And so uh, that's actually a really useful feature and it works with other different things. But yeah, visual lookup inside of the Photos app is a super nice touch. In iOS 17, you can now make your own stickers and add effects. 
text, or if it's a live photo, it'll be animated, which is pretty cool. But in this case, I have just a regular photo. I can long press, hit add to stickers, and it'll be in your little sticker library. And then you can adjust to whatever effect you like. I personally am a fan of shiny or comic, but there's a bunch of different options and you can just add stickers of whatever you decide to make to your conversations, making them even more uh, personalized and custom to your liking. iOS 17 has cleaned up messages quite a bit, mostly just taking the messages apps and putting them in this list format. But if you want to rearrange those, you can actually just long press and move them around wherever you want. So go ahead and rearrange your kind of top used messages apps and uh, make it customized even more to your liking. Finally, in iOS 17, you can now share air tags with other users so that nobody will need to freak out when they think that something is traveling with them that's not you know, maybe their spouse's air tag or their friends. You can just share that with the person if you're gonna constantly be with them by going into Find My, go into Items, find your air tag there, and then go ahead and hit share with another user and add the user and boom, that now will be something that that person can track and they'll no longer get the notification that an air tag that's not theirs is moving with them, which I think is the biggest win here, unfortunately, uh, with this feature. There is now a built-in level tool for the camera app making sure your pictures are nice and straight and well leveled. And you can turn this on by going into settings and under the camera portion here under grid, you'll see a new level toggle. If you toggle on the Shazam function in Control Center, if you have an iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max, that will now move to the dynamic island while it's listening and retrieving song information. And then once you get that, you'll see here it's in the dynamic island, but if you tap on it, it'll take you to a much better looking landing page, in my opinion, with far more information about the song. And then you can open up in Apple Music. And lastly, for those of you who are staring at their phone way too close, I highly recommend turning on screen distance. Uh, this is under settings, screen time, and then there's screen distance here. Go ahead and toggle that on and you'll get an alert when you're holding your phone way too close to your eyes, which will definitely help, you know, prevent eye strain in the future. And those are just some of the best hidden features that we found so far in iOS 17. If there's one that we didn't talk about, let us know in the comments down below. Maybe we'll feature it in a follow-up video. This has been Down With Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.